Starting off with this little problem here on page 26, graphing. It says, Dylan is three years older than Ellen. So we got our guy here, Dylan. Big Dill. He's three years older than Ellen. So, he's three years older. So, if Ellen was one, how old is Dylan? Four. Four. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to write a graph here. Now we look at this graph, and we're going to ignore all this stuff here. Because nobody is negative seven years old. So we're going to deal with just the regular numbers here. And we'll just say, so when I, whenever we talk about Dylan's age, it goes along here, one of these numbers. When we're talking about Ellen, it'll go on one of those numbers. So, at year zero, when Ellen was born, how old would Dylan be? So at year zero, zero plus three is three. When Ellen was one, how old would, was Dylan? Four. Three plus one is four, right? So when Ellen is 11, how old would Dylan be? Yeah, you could do 11 plus 3 to add it, or you could just use this graph now. So if I were to say if Ellen was 8, I go to 8 for Ellen, and I'll just go up this graph. And wherever that point is, I'll just go point over to Dylan's age. So when Ellen is 8, Dylan is 11. So again, graphs are made to be nice and easy for you. They show this with all the numbers they give you here. So I can find anything. If Ellen, if I kept going with this graph, and I'll just use the numbers they give me here. So if Ellen were 15 years old, let's go to Ellen's age, 15. So I'll go up 15 until I hit the line, or the point on the line, and I go point from there to Dylan's age. How old is Dylan? 18. 18. The number is there for you already. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't graphing nice? It shows you this. You don't have to do any math. No math is necessary. You guys were adding it before, like, oh, I'm, I think 0 plus 3 is 4. You make mistakes like that kid over there did. Now here, at 0, no, it's not 4, it's 3. At 2, it's 5. When Ellen, well, let's say, what if I were to go backwards? What if Dylan was 9 years old? How old would Ellen be? Well, I'm too dumb to subtract, so I'm going to look at the graph. I go up there, then I point down to Ellen. Six. So graphs. Graphs show you all the answers. You can work backwards and forwards on the graph without having to do any math. That's the joy of these graphs. Find the value of x plus 3. And in this case, X is going to be Ellen. So a nice hint for you. Whatever, whatever number is down here, that represents X. So they want you to find X plus 3 when X equals 9. So again, all that means is this. This graph right here is already called X plus 3. They're not telling you that. But I'm telling you, this here is already called x plus 3. Meaning, anytime you find this number, just add 3 to it, and you'll find the other number. So when x is 9, there's x equal to 9. I go up. Boom. Then I move over. So it's 12. So when Ellen is 9, Dylan is 12. x plus 3 is equal to 8. Remember, x represents which numbers? What does x represent on that graph? Which numbers? These numbers or these numbers? 
Okay, so when they say x, just remember x represents the bottom numbers. Whatever it's equal to, that represents these numbers here. So x are the, we'll call them the side numbers. So anytime you see something like this, this number represents which? The side. This. So this is all that means. They say start with the number and work backwards. So we have to start here. That's Dylan. The bottom one is Ellen, just as a reminder for you guys. So what is Dylan equal to? Eight. 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 So I go to eight for Dylan. I go across to where the line is, then I go down to Ellen. What is the answer? Four. Five. Did I have to do any subtracting? No. What you did last week, you just did, you start with the answer, eight, and do the opposite. What's eight minus three? Five. 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 You don't even have to do that. You don't have to do any opposites. You just start at the eight, follow it, and go down to the five, and you're all set. Pretty easy, isn't it? Nine times two? We're going to have to stop there because that's how high the graph. Now, if I said 2x equals 6, that means start. Which 6 should I look at? The side. Remember, this is the side one. This is the bottom one. So x is the bottom. That's the side. So I go to 6 right here. Well, let's draw a circle. I go across to the line, and then where do I go when I hit there? Down. 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 So what is x equal to? Three. So I could just say x equals 3. Now, if you could do the work, you could say 6. What's the opposite of multiplying by 2? Divide. What's 6 divided by 2? Three. Yeah, you don't have to worry about doing the opposite. What if I said 2x equals 18? Where do I start? Look at what I did for the last one. You go to the side at 18. You go to the side, start at 18. And then go to the line, pow, then drop straight down. What is x equal to? There you go. That's all you're doing. You will have a test on this also. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and maybe click on this video right here. Or you can watch my latest video, which is right here. I'm being happy.